We are live. Okay, what a special day for all of us. And we are, we're just so thrilled to be able to share this program that we've all been working on together. I have to thank um, our leadership. I first want to recognize our board. So uh, some of these good looking people behind us are, are really special to us. So first of all, Mayor Bruce Halley, who's our treasurer. Big hand for Bruce, everybody. And literally one of the world's preeminent coral, uh, pillar coral scientists, Dr. Cindy Lewis. And go female role models in STEM. And we call it STREAM. We'll talk about that in a minute, right? And then our lovely welcoming committee, the co-chairs, Steve Scott, my dear, dear friend, and Kathy Scott. I was the best man in their wedding, lucky me. The Scots, okay. Fantastic. So uh, behind the scenes, and you're going to hear a lot about this guy, my, my role model and hero for 40 years, Frazier Nivens, he's behind the camera where he always is, he's in the back, you're going to meet him in a second. Also, you don't see Ned Matarazzo, he's been with me for, God, 40 plus years, since the old days of Boulder, Colorado as a sound engineer in our band. And then, uh, again, Kathy and Steve, you guys did a lot of work, thank you so much. So what I want to do right now is, first of all, thank Jathan and the whole Monroe County family. It's amazing what they've been doing, working hard with us to make this live. And we've been talking about a lot of fun stuff for kids to be producing and getting very positive, hopeful messages out there about the oceans, which is what we all want to do together. So Jathan, thank you, and uh, Giovanni. And then uh, Tamara, uh, David, your assistant, Tamara Lamar, she was amazing behind the scenes, getting us all together. She was an amazing source of inspiration and coordination. So thank you, Tamara. So just so you know, uh, Channel 76, this is on Comcast, Channel 99 on at and UVerse, Hotwire, Fission TV, and Channel 1615 and Roku and Amazon is bringing this around the world, which is a germane part of the conversation because we have some wonderful international friends and family here today that you're all going to meet. So first of all, what I want to do, the whole spirit of this is all about our amazing next generation of ocean ambassadors. And we have two amazing young folks here from Treasure Village Montessori School. You guys want to come up to Cobo and Carolina? And if you really want to be Spanish, you say Carolina, right? Come on. OK. So you want to say hi to everybody? Why don't you stand right here so the podium isn't in your way, OK? And you guys look to the camera there and go ahead. Here we go. Buenas tardes todos. Mi nombre es Jacobo Gutierrez. Y mi nombre es Carolina Cabañas. De parte de todos aquí en Monroe County y de, los, de la Fundación de la Celebración del Océano, todos nosotros aquí en los hermosos carros de la Florida que quisiera extender una calurosa bienvenida a todos nuestros nuevos increíbles amigos y héroes del océano mexicanos. En el parte de nosotros en Treasure Village Montessori School y mis amigos muy buenos y estudiantes y maestras en Monroe County Schools y Los Cayos, nosotros vamos y gran aventura juntos. Ocean Heroes. Come on, hand for the All right. Fantastic. Thank you, guys. Good. Awesome, awesome. You guys want to just step here? Don't go anywhere. We put all the good-looking kids in the front, right? Okay, good. So now it's my pleasure, really, the leadership in Rural County. This is the dive capital of the world, probably the fishing capital of the world, too, right? So uh, first of all, Commissioner Rice, uh, you have been such a wonderful supporter for years, different things we've tried to do, your leadership, and it's been amazing. Thank you so much, sir. You want to come up and say hello to everybody from Monroe County, some leadership. There you go. Come get them. Hello, everybody. Great to be back with you. Oh, and with the other folks, some of us have done some things before. Welcome to Monroe County. This is so marvelous to reach a hand out the way you're doing, and I want to hear more about it. Thank you, guys. Commissioner Rice. And we also have Commissioner Holly Rothstein. Hi. Thank you so much, Holly, for coming. <laughs> Thank you all so much, and welcome to the Murray Nelson Government Center, and it's so exciting to be celebrating the celebration of the Sea Foundation, and to see all of our young ambassadors, our ocean ambassadors, from all over Monroe County and our schools. It's super awesome, because if we're not teaching the next generation of what we've got going on and, and share it with our international partners, then we're not getting the word out there and all the wonderful stuff that we're doing with regard to conserving the ocean, promoting the ocean, fixing our, our 
coral, coral reefs, reefs that are under attack right now. So anyways, I will let you get back to the program. Welcome again to Key Largo, and can't wait to hear about tomorrow's and the next day's activities. Yes, the adventures, all right. Fantastico. And then uh, uh, we really have to thank, so this started at a lunch, I think, right, uh, Mayor Halley with Sue? So Sue Altansky from our Board of Education, right at the front lines, has come to support and say hi. Thank you so much, Sue, for your leadership. Thank you so much for having me. This is a really exciting program. You know, it's really my personal goal that every child who graduates from Monroe County will go out being an, an ambassador of our unique environment. And this Ocean Heroes program is going to take us a long way Great. towards that. Thanks. Thank you so much, Sue. Okay, and now, now we have something super special for you. So uh, he unfortunately, oh, tragically, uh, his fiance was in a car accident. He would have been here, but it meant so much to him. Jim Mooney, our state representative, what a wonderful friend and supporter of our community. He definitely wanted to welcome all of our international ambassadors personally. And what we're gonna do now is have a shout out from the Florida State Capitol, from our dear friend, Mr. Mooney. Here we go. Hi everyone, I'm Monroe County State Representative Jim Mooney and greetings from the Florida State Capitol in Tallahassee. I'm thrilled to be able to personally welcome all of our wonderful friends from Mexico to the beautiful Florida Keys who are now hard at work on this amazing new Ocean Heroes collaboration being launched today between our countries. On behalf of all of us in Monroe County and the celebration of Sea Foundation, we look forward to continuing this wonderful adventure together with our scientists, teachers, and students. Again, welcome to Monroe County. Congratulations. How about that from Jim Mooney from the State Capitol? Thank you, Jim. Another amazing leader. So we're very fortunate. Uh, he's been a mentor, like a father to me. He's the treasurer of our board and also the mayor of Layton. Uh, Mayor Bruce Halley, love, love to welcome you up just to say hi and welcome everybody. Mayor Halley! It's great to be here with everybody. You know, I'm lo looking forward that Pachi and I and the foundation can uh, keep this uh, going and build uh, something that outlives all of us here. Thank you. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. And, and what we're looking at now is, I, uh, as you say that, what's, what's funny, it's all about the legacy. So I'm going to be 60 this summer. So it's all about legacy with all of us old guys handing the torch over to all you amazing students. So thank you guys for being here today. So let me give you a little bit of the history of this and uh, how this came to be. 40 years ago, with a lot more hair, um, I was thrilled and honored to be the Cousteau Society Ambassador for Kids. I had met them and dove with them and... I had a TV show at the time and filmed them on the shipwreck Savannah got a reef. It was amazing. So what a dream. He was a role model, like many of you probably who love the ocean. There was a time we watched those shows and wanted to be with Capitan Cousteau. He had the submarines and he had the balloons and he had the floating plane. And who didn't want those toys, right? So I wanted to be like that. So if you believe in something strong enough, I was privileged to be able to work with them and dive with them and film with them and then to be an ambassador for kids where Captain Cousteau had a magazine that I used to hand out to all the schools and do these enrichment programs with my slides before video. I was using slides back then. So my mother at the time, for 25 years, was a public school teacher. And she used to do a Mexican exchange program. So she would take the teachers from Mexico and the students from Mexico, and we'd swap them with American kids and teachers. And it was fantastic, cultural and education. And really, it's about love and friendship and understanding. So cool. So this started an idea as I spent a few years here in the past with Rafael, who you're going to meet, one of the world's preeminent whale shark scientists. I said, wouldn't it be cool to do that again and put the scientists in the middle of that exchange in the schools so that the kids and the teachers can benefit from some of the most brilliant people out there on the front lines, our ocean heroes. So part of that was I saw the power. I was a Sony underwater cameraman for seven years. They gave me wonderful toys. And I had a show on CBS for three years. So I could get a message to millions of people using media. And so you have today what I wish I had. These things were at that time, thank you. At that time, they didn't have social media. But now you can affect people and impassion people based on your message using your phones and sharing and caring, especially with your new Mexican prints that you're going to have. So what this turned into at that time, I worked with Noah as a mixed gas diver and Dick Cooper, who was a saturation pioneer, was another mentor that took some time with me. 
And it's that mentoring that's so valuable and exciting. And you're going to have a chance to meet some amazing mentors right now. So our passion and our board, first of all, thank you so much and all the leadership here in Monroe. Our passion has always been about the kids because the ability to share that, it's really our, our honor to do that. We owe that to you guys to get you excited and to explain it. And you've got some wonderful people who are going to explain some things to you now. So sometimes you meet somebody in life. And that guy behind the camera, 40 years ago, I met him in the Bahamas. And I wasn't a diver, really. I said, well, how did I get that job, right? So I wanted to be on that career path. I met Fraser Nivens. So Fraser and I, if you fast forward now, this is 40 years later, with a lot less hair and a lot grayer. We're still doing it, right, Bray? Right, Potch? Good. So we have the opportunity. Frazier, and by the way, just won his eighth Emmy Award for cinematography, A Turtle's Tale, which is, how about that, right? So it's, it's uh, Troubled Waters. A turtle sale, and it's the issue of marine plastics through the eye of a sea turtle. So, Frazier, beautiful stuff as he's always shooting. So, having in Monroe County one of the finest cinematographers, and we've got lots of them, still photographers and videographers, you guys all have some of the best storytellers in the world for the oceans right here in our amazing keys. So, these people are the ones that are out there every day having that fun job, taking those pictures of these amazing critters. And then, part of that piece, if you go one step deeper, is that people like Frazier get to be on some pretty cool adventures. Can you imagine diving right next to a great hammerhead like that in the Bahamas? That's pretty cool stuff, right? So this is what people in Monroe County do. We go out there and have some cool adventures and share them with the world. So if we can, what's happening today, we have to thank, we were given a, a, a very generous grant from a lot of fans of the music festivals that we're participating in. So you're going to hear a little bit about this where, if we get to that, Reverb, which was started by some wonderful artists, uh, Jack Johnson, Dave Matthews, big ones now like Billie Eilish, you guys probably know Billie Eilish. They are going on tour and getting the message of the oceans and conservation out there. And through their generosity, big bands like Dave Matthews, who really cares, are engaging fans to make a markable difference. So the byproduct of that has been wonderful role models in the arts, who are passionate about the oceans and kids and education, who are making it possible to get the message out to millions and millions of fans. So what we do every year, this is our sixth year. We're honored to be the official charity, the ocean charity for the Odyssey Festival. So every year, we have 50,000 of our best pals on the beach having a big party with music, but it's all about learning about the oceans and conservation. So one of the things that happens there is people buy our water bottles, reuse, recycle, and reduce. And the water bottles, thanks to you fans, have made it possible for this program today. So we were given a large grant from these amazing fans that gave us some dough from the water bottles, which is what's making all this possible today. So thank you fans, and thank you artists. So we have not really announced this yet, but we have some wonderful friends, many are in the room today, that have just been cutting checks and supporting and saying, how can I help? Obviously, as a foundation, all of that is incredibly important to us. However, and we love donations, even if you mentor a child or if you organize a beach cleanup, all of that matters. Whatever it is, all we're asking everybody to do is whatever you're passionate about, this is going to take an army based on what's happening out there, especially the impact on marine animals, and you're going to hear a lot about that right now. So, this story from Monroe County, super cool, one of the most spectacular and diverse marine ecosystems in the world, and guess whose backyard that's in? Yours. So Monroe County has the privilege of talking about things as spectacular as the Everglades, and those particular Everglades are connected very intricately to the marine systems, so freshwater and saltwater systems, right? So when we look at this particular video, you'll see the beauty, and this is, again, thanks to the great Frey and some beautiful footage, this is the beautiful, spectacular Florida Keys. So the dive capital of the world, we are so blessed to have this in our backyard. And I think all of you, how about a show of hands, how many people love to be in that water? How about that, okay, really? <laughs> so we have the privilege of right in our backyard diving and seeing amazing animals in my backyard, and we're out with the sunset, we see spotted dolphins, or these are actually, um, those are bottlenose. We have manatees every day, and eagle rays, and it's just an extraordinary place to call home. So one of the things that we're really passionate right now about, too, is a specific area of the world. If you look at the map, there's a red circle. So this is so exciting with Mexico in the house. 
because our habitat is your habitat. So you're gonna meet Raphael, just as an example, the whale sharks. They are in our backyard, and then they move and go hang out with Raphael when he tags them with the satellite tags. You're about to hear about that, but it's the same shark. So if we save our habitat here, it's not gonna do a lot of good unless we all work together to save the whole habitat, right? So that particular story gets pretty interesting when we talk about trying to inspire jobs, career paths, right? So we want everybody to be like these cool scientists you're about to meet. But even if you get involved in ecotourism, uh, the fisheries, all of these are critical pieces of our economy, and they're not gonna do so well if we lose our reefs. So we gotta protect them. So our particular community is highly committed to also getting you guys excited about some super cool jobs that you probably don't know are out there, and they pay well, and they're super fun, okay? I promise. Cool. So the technology we've been using, which is so cool, how about this for Anna, there she is. So we have a platform right now, and the technology we're using is extraordinary. We can interactively have up to a thousand students, teachers, scientists live talking to each other around the world while we stream to multiple platforms broadcasting around the world at the same time. How cool is that? Never had that before. So in those technologies, what's super cool, you can see Anna here, is we have, go Kristen. So we have some of the principals and the teachers and the students and some of the best scientists in the world that these students just interviewed live and they're learning from the best scientists in the world. So not just here, but the scientists in Mexico and this exchange is pretty exciting, right? Cindy, Dr. Lewis, right? So how cool is it? You're gonna meet the, one of the best scientists in Mexico with corals and you're gonna meet some super coral rock stars here in a minute that are Monroe County, okay. So part of this is that if these kids have the opportunity to be on the front lines, which we can do right now, we can bring the oceans right to the classroom right to the phone. And hopefully when they come home at dinner, out of school, they're gonna say, Mom, I wanna keep watching. And we're gonna have it right there live for the kids with all the assets, social media, as well as what we can stream live uh, around the world. And we're also working to do it in Spanish. And because we have a lot of kids from Haiti in the area, we wanna also get to Creole and French. But we're, we're gonna go with four languages to start, okay? Uh, the second part of that is this new technology, Starlink, that we have. And we've invested in all these great toys that Fraser's been pioneering for a long time. And this gives us the opportunity anywhere in the world, even in the middle of the Everglades or on a boat, that we can broadcast live uh, and stream and interview, even without a connection to the world. We're literally no tether anymore. We can be anywhere in the world and bring it right to the classroom. How cool is that? So what we're also working on with the technologies, and you're gonna meet Mike Goldberg and Dr. Kylie Smith in a second, this was an amazing piece that was just there on CNN, and they're gonna meet these guys in a minute. But watch when Michael's talking, he's actually, this technology allows us to have students underwater with us, teachers underwater with us, and the scientists talking live to the kids all over the world and answering questions underwater on the reef live. Pretty cool, right? So Mike, I, I don't know if you're okay with this, but I'm playing it, okay? <laughs> so this is Mike and Kylie, I care. We have now put down over 10,000 corals. I truly believe we're gonna be successful with this restoration work. I see things every time I go in the water that give me hope. 100% of them are drowning. Joe's are so happy corals. The great reward for me is to see the corals that we put down. That's the fruit of our labor. We're seeing it work. You're pretty special anyone. Mike and Dr. Smith, you're gonna meet them in a second. But how cool is that? How about a hand for them? CNN, baby. So, so thank you, Fraser and Ocean Technology Systems that, that provides us the ability to be live underwater and actually communicate with each other and the kids and the scientists around the world, live in real time. Okay, so now we're gonna to get to the meat of the matter. So like I have Fraser as a role model, we're blessed and so honored to have Dr. Cindy Lewis on our board. Uh, Dr. Lewis, as I mentioned, is one of the preeminent, uh, when it comes to coral, it's pillar coral, is your passion, right? Yes. And you happen to spark somebody super special who's here today that's making a huge difference. So would you come up, Dr. Lewis, say hi, and maybe explain, first of all, from a standpoint of the corals, where we are with the world with corals in general, just the easy layman term, and then talk about this cool woman that you inspired, okay? Great. Hello, everybody. Thank you. Um, as most of you are aware of, the coral reefs around the world 
are in a huge state of decline. We're losing them day by day, and it's very difficult to the point where they can no longer um, rebuild themselves, so this is where they need help. And uh, that 2010, I think we figured, um, Dr. Kylie Smith, then an undergraduate with uh, Clemson University, came to Keys Marine Lab on Long Key, and like a lot of the grad students, we sort of tend to take, our, my staff tends to take grad students under their wing, answer questions, help them through the, the ordeals of field work and research and stuff. So I, I had the wonderful opportunity of watching Kylie grow as she came, went from an undergraduate student to her master's and finally completing her PhD in and around Keys Marine Labs. I've known Kylie for a long time. And it was my delight to watch her grow, but then begin to reach out and say, okay, how can I make a difference? What can I do? How can I give back to restoration, to the corals, to the reefs? And it was probably over several beers or perhaps glasses of wine <laughs> that uh, I eventually put her in contact with Mike Goldberg at um, Key Dives one of you know, my go-to dive shops. She continued this conversation with him and the concept of eye care was born. Um, we're getting recreational divers to help with outplanting of corals. So Kylie has been kind of one of my favorite kids. Uh -huh. <laughs> How about a hand for that, huh? Okay. <laughs> okay. Before we go, because. It's, all, it's also a gem in the Keys. So uh, Keys Marine Lab and the beauty of FIO supporting 30 institutions and housing the laboratory here in the Keys in Layton. Just quickly on that because that's super special and that's Monroe County. Go ahead. So yes, the Keys Marine Lab is actually part of um, Florida Institute of Oceanography hosted at the University of South Florida but with access for infrastructure support for all of the marine institutions in the state of Florida. Um, we typically um, accommodate college and above age students, whether it's students, research, um, or uh, senior researchers that are well into their research careers. So we provide the infrastructure and the support for all of that throughout the state of Florida, as well as the United States, and even we have several international students, groups that come in to us. Go KML. <laughs> All right. Hey, where's Mike? Well, Kylie, why don't you tell her a little bit about eye care <laughs> and get the other guy up here. Get over here. All right. He's so shy now. Hero. <laughs> the two heroes. Go get him. So as Pachi said, my name is Kylie Smith, and this is Michael Goldberg, and we are the co-founders of eye care. And there are a lot of really great restoration practitioners doing work here in the Florida Keys. What makes us a little bit different is we partner with dive shops and we put the education and training in the hands of recreational divers to where they can get out and help be part of the solution and help us rebuild our coral reefs. And this has been such a great way to you know, educate and spread awareness. One of the things that really drew me to the community here in the Florida Keys is collaboration. And everyone has been so fantastic about jumping in and realizing that we have a real problem to solve, but we can solve it and we can do that together. Uh, so we have some really great partners from the science side and our coral suppliers, both Moat Marine Laboratory, uh, Reef Renewal USA. Now we're starting to work with the FWC. And so we've got some really great research partners behind us helping us to, to do this project and some really great support. And it's just been really amazing to see how many people have come together. And we're really excited about this opportunity here to really expand our reach and figure out how we can continue to spread that awareness and that education to some, some different countries. Fantastic. So thank you, Pachi. Quick comment on the sport diving and the citizen science, because this is, don't you go anywhere. Good. Go ahead, Mike, please. Diving capital of the world, tell them. All right. <laughs> we're proud of you. So what we were trying to accomplish is really empower our, our recreational dive community, create citizen scientists of our divers so that they can get their hands dirty, so to speak. But that doesn't mean that we don't have a lot of science in what we do. And so even though that the recreational divers aren't scientists, they're citizen science scientists, we have a team that is out every day of every week doing behind the scenes work like what Dr. Smith is doing, doing all the monitoring, 
determining whether those corals are surviving, why, if they're not surviving, why, what genotype works, where. There is a lot of science behind what we do when we monitor 100% of every coral that we put down and considering that we're approaching 12,000 corals, we're out there every week monitoring these fragments. It is an intense amount of work. So the science is there, but we do empower the recreation dive community. That is the main thrust and I never want to overshadow though the science behind what we are doing. Rock and roll. So wait, don't go anywhere. Uh, so Cindy, why don't you stand right there? And we have now the third generation. Nina, where's Nina? Come on up here. Where's your sidekick? You brought your, yep. Yeah. Come on up. Where's your sidekick? Call her up. Yes. Okay. okay. With your great organization. So yeah. somebody influenced somebody, mentor. Somebody influenced somebody, mentor. <laughs> now she's mentor. You want to introduce Nina and, and you, what you saw in her? Because you took her out diving and showed her how to plant some coral, right? Yeah, Third right. generation. I did, yeah. So this past summer we had another event where I got to meet Nina and got to bring her out and help, she helped us uh, do some coral transplanting and it was really awesome to meet somebody as young as she is and you're about to find out is really well spoken as she is. She's, <laughs> she's nervous but she does great. Um, but she, she's so passionate and it, it really takes people like this and, and these younger generations to help us really make the biggest impact. So I'm very proud of what you're doing. Thank you. Anna Monroe County STEM science winner. <laughs> Go ahead and say how about that. Thank you. Uh, for that really sweet introduction. Um, hello everybody, my name is Nina Bowen. Um, I come down from Key West, Florida. I was born and raised. Um, and the Florida Keys are a really, really important place to me. Um, growing up here, I didn't really have a lot of background in the Marine Science Department because there just wasn't a lot going on at the time that students could access. And so um, when I started high school, I wanted to find a way that I could get involved because I knew that there was things going on in the world, um, especially in where I was living. Um, and I wanted to you know, really learn more about it. And so um, when COVID hit, I was working on a, um, like an, I guess you could explain it as like a, um, like an educational opportunity to get students um, to learn about different community organizations and how to make one. And so um, in the beginning of my freshman year, I became a part of that small organization and I learned how to write proposals and work on with different students on how to make an impact in my community. And so um, when I hit my sophomore year, I decided that I wanted to start my own community and I created a program called Team Blue. It's a marine science environmental organization um, that aims to get students scuba certified or just involved in the marine science community in general um, at a little to no cost. And so we've done a lot of fundraising, um, especially through uh, a bunch of um, water bottle opportunities that we were selling water bottles similar to like Celebration of the Seas Foundation. Um, but we also paint tote bags and just try to find ways to apply things in the real world that are affordable for kids. A big part of being able to get involved, it wouldn't be without the help of such an amazing community, especially like with eye care. We've worked with um, Reef Renewal, we've worked with Moat, we're working on a scuba certification program that gets students certified for free. We've worked with Dive Into Life and all because we've had such a support, especially in the Florida Keys. So I can't be anything but grateful, especially for Bachi giving us such a great opportunity to come here and speak for you guys today. Um, I'm just really thankful, and so um, take it away. Thanks, guys. And they're going diving with us oh, yeah. Coral we're tomorrow again, with so Dr. Coral. Lewis and Sid. Fantastic. So one of your adventures, right? Turtle oh, yeah. Hospital? Yeah, Turtle Hospital. Yeah, so tomorrow we'll be at the Turtle Hospital where the kids in the club had gone. Go Turtle Hospital and Betty and all those wonderful yeah. people there. So uh, moving along to the next one. So this slide, if we have it, okay. When I, uh, two times, I think, Raphael, I came uh, during the holidays and I really witnessed some amazing hospitality. Go Mexico, por favor, okay? So Raphael said, well, I'd like to have, let's go do dinner, let's do it. And I know there's some really cool scientists who are doing amazing work with corals. So my conversation with Raphael and someone who you're about to meet, I said, well, what do you think about the cool stuff we're doing in the Keys? And they didn't know what we're doing. So I said, how can you not know about these cool people and what we're doing? And maybe some of the stuff you're doing, we should know about. So I thought about this cool collaboration. So I asked Raphael, I said, hey, if we involve kids, would you allow the kids and the teachers to be part of what you guys are doing on the front lines? And of course, he said, amazing. So this was actually taken um, in the coral reefs in Mexico. And it looks similar but different. You're the experts would know the similarities and the differences. But that's where the program started. So what I want to do is, is we're going to introduce some very special people. Hello, everyone. Hola, Miami. My name is Guillermo Cepeda. I'm the principal of the school. And we are... Awesome Heroes! Teachers and students are very excited to be part of this amazing program. We want to learn more about how to take care of 
our ocean life. Thanks, Patsy, and Celebration of the Sea Foundation for letting us be part of this big initiative. And we are... Ocean Heroes! So, what I'd like to do is, uh, while I was on the ferry, we were very lucky. The, the concert, last year, we had some money and we donated to develop a whale shark curriculum. And so, while we were there, uh, we were watching on the ferry, going over to Isla Mujeres to go film whale sharks, we saw a 30-second spot of this amazing young man who was talking about saving the world from marine plastic. I said, who is this dude? So I had to find him, and I found him. And he's 25 years old, and now he has thousands of people doing beach cleanups all over the country. And I said, oh my God, dude, we can learn from you. So Daniel, come on up here. This is Daniel Rodriguez from Snorkeling for Trash. Hey, how are you doing? Great, man. Really good. True ocean hero, right here. Hello. Okay. So, you know this wonderful group. Would you do yeah. me a favor? And maybe with a little accento, you do it in a nice Mexican exactly, accent. Sure. Why don't you introduce the team, okay? Sure. Well, hello everyone, and thanks, Patsy, and yeah. the team for having us yeah. here in Florida Keys. And yeah, I'm introducing you the team from Mexico. Uh, equipe, we... no? Equipe Mexico, <laughs> yes. Vamos a presentarles al equipo de Mexico. Uh, this is Rafael is a biologist of whale sharks. He is one of the top scientists uh, on whale sharks in Mexico. In so, the world. In the world, mundo, actually. You are correct, Patsi. <laughs> so, uh, big applause for Rafael. Rafael. This is Rafael de la Parra. <laughs> then we have another really great scientist here and biologist. Uh, is one of my biggest mentors. I've learned so much from her, and I really, really admire her. Admire her as many people in Cancun, in Cancun, those, I'm sure about it. And this is Gisela Maldonado, a uh, big clap for her. Also, we have another really important guy here uh, who works like for, for the <laughs> national parks, and he's a really good ally on this work. And um, he's Roberto. 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 <laughs> An applause for Roberto. <laughs> and then, uh, and well, the, our, our school, uh, our first school in this program, which is Leonardo da Vinci, thanks a lot for the support. It's just incredible to, to make uh, environmental education between Mexico and, and U.S. And well, thank you, Guillermo, for the support. This is Guillermo Cidera. Uh, yeah, and that would be, uh, it wouldn't be possible without the support of all of them. Uh, this is the director of Leonardo da Vinci. How about that? Yeah. Yes. Anna. 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 And of course, we have uh, really important people. Come on, from... get him up. This is Junior, actually. It's six foot six. And Tanya, yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah. Come on, this is... him up. Oh, he's just the same yes. as his yeah. <laughs> three generations, right? Your yeah. grandfather start, then yeah. your father, and then Guillermo. And this Same is again. Guillermo Junior, but he's almost two meters. <laughs> Fantastic. So uh, the school, do you want to take a minute, Guillermo, and just explain uh, either one of you? Get, get together, see? Okay. So this is our first international school that's going to work with our amazing school teachers and, and principals you're about to meet as well. So let's go international. Go, Guillermo. Hi, good, good evening, everyone. First of all, I want to thank my friends of Celebration of the Sea, Patsy, Daniel, right. and everyone involved in trusting our institution as one of the privileged schools to pilot this amazing program. Everyone at home is very excited our students and teachers. We are looking forward to working hand in hand to this incredible organization and to take our next step on the new education and conservation to become ocean heroes. Thanks uh, Montessori Treasure Village to be part of this. Uh, we are so happy and, and we say hi to everyone over there in Cancun and in the school. Thank you. How about everybody wave to Cancun? Okay. The whole school is watching this right now, right? Yes. Yeah, so so um, one, of, one of the other things, yes, Sabian, in Espanol, si? Okay. It's a bilingual school, so the students also speak English, so our kids better start practicing their Spanish. Go ahead. Okay. Hola, hola, ¿qué tal? Muy buenas tardes a todos. Pues nosotros somos el Instituto Americano Leonardo da Vinci, y la verdad es que tenemos un compromiso muy importante. Además de enseñar y educar a nuestros alumnos, también tenemos que preocuparnos por su educación en cuanto al cuidado de los océanos y la vida marina. Otra de las cosas que vamos a hacer aquí es que somos la escuela piloto y vamos a trabajar en conjunto con Treasure Village Montessori para implementar programas y educar a todos nuestros alumnos, así como a toda la sociedad, en cuanto a toda la parte ambiental y el cuidado de nuestros océanos. 
Gracias. Fantástico. Okay. Tanya, you want to come up and say hi? Okay. Explain what you do too. Okay. okay. Fantástico. Well, first of all, um, it's a pleasure to be sharing this great experience with this wonderful team today. We are very grateful with Florida Keys for hosting us and to the celebration of the CIS Foundation uh, for, the, for making this possible. Um, today, we are part of this great team of ocean heroes who come from Mexico, especially from Cancun, seeking to improve our environmental practices in favor of the ocean conservation. With a, great, uh, with a great pride today, I represent the General Direction of Ecology in the City Hall of Benito Juarez, uh, better, known, better known as Cancun, that develops a few environment, environmental programs in order to protect and conserve the fauna and the flora of our coast and wetlands. The part of the programs uh, in which we are focused and we are seeking to strengthen with the experience that we are taking home today is uh, the Sea Turtle Protection and Conservation Program, the Blue Crab Program, the Nichupte Lagoon System Cleaning Program, and the Urban Cenote Sanitation Program. The main, object the, the, the main objective of these programs is to teach and involve the children, our children, um, that is in their hands to make things better and how to improve the future of our um, environment. I'm glad to tell you that what is happening today here, I'm sure it's going to change the world. Thank you, Pachi, oh. and thank you, all the foundation. Fantastico! <laughs> so, how cool with the commissioners. Thank you. Having the countries together with your leadership and theirs, we're going to get this done. We're going to make a difference, sure, baby. Right. Okay. Rock and roll, sir. Okay, so on our side, now we reciprocate with our cool schools, right? Now this looks like a castle from the road, right? There used to be treasure in there at one time, right? It looks like actually a Spanish galleon when you come in the lobby, right, when you go to school. So how about all the Treasure Village folks? Come on up here, come on, Chris, and bring your folks up. Come on, don't be shy. We got your amazing kids. Come back in the picture here, okay? Look at all those good looking kids. Come on, all right, go, go, go. Our assistant principal, hey, come on in, coach, come on. <laughs> A couple of these guys are going diving tomorrow, planting some corals. <laughs> Come on in, all you. All right, you got it. Okay. I am Christy Brucia. I'm the assistant principal at Treasure Village Montessori. I stand here today with my amazing team, students and teachers, our Ocean Heroes team at Treasure Village. We are so excited to bring this program to our school and to collaborate with all of the partners here on stage and many more to come, hopefully, in the future. And um, we're having a great time getting to know all the staff and students from Leonardo da Vinci School. And our primary purpose of being part of this program is so that we can continue to enrich our students. And um, all the people standing here are an inspiration to our students. So. By learning from everything that's going on internationally and here in the Florida Keys, our kids get the opportunity to learn from them and say, I want to stick around and I want to make a difference. So we're really looking forward to this. We're honored and thankful that you selected us as a pilot school in the Keys. And we look forward to collaborating with everyone and making a difference and raising young children who are ocean hero stewards. Cool. Thank you. Cool. So we're thrilled this gets better. We got more amazing pilot schools here. So Ocean Studies Charter, can we have all you lovely people come up? Where's Ocean Studies Charter? There we go, okay. The head of the science program. Thank you, thank you. Uh, my name is Chris Bowers. I am the uh, one of the uh, head science teachers at Ocean Studies. We have about 180 kids, and um, this is, it's really an honor to be on stage with, with these fellow teachers and, and scientists and just all, these, all of you who are making such a difference. Um, and it just sort of gels so much with the mission of our school because we're really focused on uh, giving our kids the opportunities to, to get hands-on, real-world uh, science, exploring adventures, uh, whether they're out in, you know, kayaking, whether they're... Uh, testing their homemade underwater cameras or uh, 
partnering with schools in, in Mexico, and Belize, and Costa Rica. So this is just such a, an honor to be a part of. We're really excited. And we just look so forward to uh, partnering with these other schools and learning from them and hoping that we can share a little bit uh, about what we do. Fantastico. All right. Cool. All right. Ooh. We got more good schools, amazing schools. Okay. So who, who, who has a great white shark in the front of their school? How's that cool, huh? Come on. Where is she? Okay. Come on, girl. And by the way, uh, NOAA Ocean Guardian Schools, right? Yes. Both you guys are as well, right? So there was two, right? So uh, when we look at ocean studies and what you're doing, super cool. At the front lines, our schools with NOAA. Go, go, go. Say hello. Hello. Callie. My name is Callie Harris. I am the K-8 marine science teacher at Sugarloaf School. I teach everyone from the itty-bitty babies on up to the hormone-crazed <laughs> middle schoolers. Um, we are a fourth-year ocean uh, guardian school through NOAA. And we have also taken on the Everglades Championship School program as well this year. Um, I am very fortunate. This is my fifth year taking over the program of this school. Um, Ponchi asked me, bring your, bring your team with you. And I was like, I am the team. <laughs> um, but I'm very grateful to be here. Um, I am very fortunate for uh, the community and throughout the keys for the grants and the opportunities to bring my students out into the environment. Um, I tell um, people when I talk about my program that um, students don't learn to you know, conserve a resource or protect a species from reading it in a book. They have to feel it in their fingers, see it in their toes, touch it, experience it. So um, I try to get my students out into our uh, backyard as much as possible from the Dry Tortugas to the Everglades to Key Biscayne to everywhere in between. So I'm just really looking forward to this next partnership for my school for years to come and working with everyone up here. I um, started in the Keys as a teenager and I have interned at the Turtle Hospital, worked with Moat, actually worked for the FWC right out of college. And so, I mean, it's, it's very cool how everything kind of comes full circle and um, getting that opportunity for the next generation. Fantastic. Okay. We skipped the slide. One more pool school back at you. Hold on. There we go. Okay, Academy of the Ocean Reef, come on up. Cool. High five. How are you? Cool. All right. Hi, um, my name is Nikki Lack. Service learning is so important for kids because they really become leaders and they also become more resilient and the teachers become more resilient when students are doing service learning. So service learning in the Florida Keys is wonderful um, because we get to do experiential um, activities. We're an Ocean Guardian school. Um, we completed five years of that and the kids have really focused on removing um, debris from the ocean and reducing ocean debris. Um, we have done heaps of coastal cleanups. We've distributed monofilament recycling containers, and we're really working on going zero waste. That's the hardest thing. But we're trying, and we really look forward to working with you on service learning. Thank you. Fantastic. How about that for the schools? Come on. Wow. So what we're going to do now is, uh, Roberto, why don't we come up? So you saw what we're doing in our backyard. So very very quick, because I know we're running long, but this is too cool not to keep digging in, right? So Roberto is the gentleman who took me out on this coral planting. Um, why don't you say hi? Tell everyone what you guys are doing with the, uh, the, the projects there. Thanks, Pexi. My name is Roberto Ibarra, and I've been working uh, for a national park since uh, 25 years ago. I want to uh, say thanks to, uh, uh, to Patsy to invite us as ocean heroes. And uh, I would like to uh, tell you just a little bit of what we are doing in the National Park. It's a, a work of uh, trying to uh, mitigate the damage that is caused by uh, hurricanes, by, uh, how do you say, the, the damage of the ships, the groundings. So we are working on a nursery, that's what, uh, our last project last year, where we um, started 
to <clears throat> run a project of uh, cutting some uh, fragments of the corals. We uh, mounted them in these structures uh, that are very simple. They are just uh, cement uh, blocks with a, a PVC pipe. And we inserted the, the little coral fragments at the top. So we are uh, growing uh, right now these fragments and we expect to take them to the reef to be fixed and to restore areas that have been damaged by uh, what I told you, the, uh, mainly hurricanes and groundings. Uh, right now, we, still, we are still waiting for those corals to be enough uh, big to be uh, taken to the reef, but that's what we are going to, to do with those corals. This is another species, but this is the process. We are going to take them to a damaged area and uh, to try to, to help nature a little bit to short the, the process to, to recover. And that's in a very brief uh, explanation what we do. Fantastico. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Great. So you see how similar, also when I was privileged to have a tour and see what they're doing, why we shouldn't get our amazing people together, doing it together, right? So going right along here, now it gets to the point where I'm one of my heroes, I don't know if anyone's had the chance to swim on the back of a whale shark, but one of the guys who does it every day, and he's really the only guy that's allowed to touch them and to put the satellite tags on, but uh, the two old men, Frazier and I, were about a half hour, we tried to keep up with this little man here in the whale shark in Mexico, Rafael de la Parra, one of the greatest whale shark scientists in the world. Please, Rafael. Hola. And we have a little I'm... video behind you too, so what, watch Rafael as he's talking. This is what this man does, check this out. <laughs> I'm very grateful to be here and honored and I want to, to thank you for your kind hospitality. It's an honor to be uh, uh, bringing the word about uh, collaboration, a regional collaboration in between uh, governmental authorities, schools, and scientists, and even the public and the, the sponsors. So we want to protect the environmental area in the north of Quintana Roo, and now, uh, in, con in a pneumatic drill off of his school yeah. tank. <laughs> in a, a new way, we're trying to, to do this regional collaboration in between the states and, and Mexico. So many, that, many so thanks. You, you explained, Rafael, that that tag that he's applying to the whale, it actually is pinging the satellite. So the students can follow the whale real time on their phones all over the world. Absolutely. Especially when the whales come visit us and visit you. Fantastico. So how about a hand for Rafael Del Parra? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So we talked about how cool you guys are, so we got to talk a little bit about Monroe County. We got some heroes too. So, you know, for those of you who don't know Art Cooper and his team, Art and his organization have saved uh, almost 500 marine animals. And you were talking about big ones, the dolphins, and heavily, unfortunately, dealing with a lot of manatees now and others. Art, can you bring up your team and talk about this great work you are doing, sir? We love you. You're our hero, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Come on up. So my name is Art Cooper. I work with Dolphins Plus Marine Mammal Responder. Mary Lou Wright is our Director of Education, uh, which is going to be integral in the work that we're doing uh, with our Mexican counterparts uh, and eventually with people on the Bahamian side as well. Steve McCulloch is our Director of Training Investigations. Uh, some of you saw a short presentation on uh, health and environmental risk assessments this morning. He was one of the originators and creators of that program and has invited me to work with him. Uh, he has come down here to create the same program for us here in Monroe County. It is extremely important that we have a study of our apex predator uh, dolphins at the top of the food chain uh, in Monroe County before they change the watershed flow coming out of Lake Okeechobee from east and west to due south. So you'll probably see Steve and Mary Lou and I and a host of others uh, performing a, a longitudinal study uh, out in the bay. And we're very excited uh, that our Mexican counterparts are also excited about this type of uh, project and would like to learn it and see if we can expand it in another region. Pacha, you're doing great work. The next generation's ready to uh, 
pick up where we leave off. And I'm really excited to be a part of the Dolphin Plus Marine Mammal Responder family and be a resident of Key Largo, Monroe County. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. And all the educational programs you do. Thank you so much. We love you guys. So this, this, this keeps getting cool. So marine plastics, this isn't going to go away. And we happen to have a dear friend who, uh, Frazier said, you got to meet this guy, Bob Powell. I said, who's Bob Powell? Well, Bob has a company called Brightmark, and he has a way to take any type of plastic, even if it's commingled, and turn it back into any other type of plastic or even fuel. So when we talk about things that are a little scary out there for the kids, right, there's actually some cool things going on that people like you can make the difference. So we have a couple of the Powells in the house. This family are all divers. Bob couldn't be here because he's saving the world from plastic, but he sent his good looking brother and his family. And Kendall, who is one of our youth ambassadors, what a rock star you are at work at Brightmark, yeah. right? My, Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Kendall. I work at Brightmark on the marketing team. Um, at Brightmark, it's really our mission to reimagine the way we handle organic waste and plastic waste. So we are just so thrilled to be here. And thank you to Celebration of the Sea Foundation for having us here. And we believe that we can um, have success through education and we, a lot of what we do at Brightmark is educating others on the, our technologies and how they can reduce waste, but we're surrounded by so many amazing experts here that we're just so excited to learn from. So yeah, I just wanted to thank you. And how cool as a family, because I know, if I can, I'll just swap yeah, with you. Absolutely. Stay right up there, young lady. <laughs> as a family, they're always out diving. So, and, and this is, you know, you talk about Bob, he's out there doing beach cleanups with the kids and he's running an enormous corporation. This is passionate for you and your brother, right? So thank you guys for all you do. We love that man. Uh, Bob, wherever you are, we love you. And I, I opened up my mailbox the other day and there was an envelope that I wasn't expecting. Never asked for any help, Bob. Thank you, Santa Claus, that was a biggie. So thank you for supporting Monroe County and our schools. So. Uh, the other side of what you're doing, real quick, with the new factory, this is in where? I think it's in Indiana. It, yeah, right? it's in yeah. Ashley, Indiana. Yeah, so that is the hope right there. Yeah. Take all that crazy yeah. plastic and turn it into something cool, right? Yes, absolutely. We're able to take plastics numbers one through seven, which really is, is a big deal because we're able to recycle all types of plastic. Traditionally, you can only, through mechanical recycling, you can only recycle plastics ones and twos. And our technology allows us to take all types of plastics. So think of like your car seats, your glasses, pieces of your computer, car parts, all of that. Um, so yeah, we're, I'm really proud to be able to work with Brightmark and I feel like we're doing some pretty amazing things, but. Cool, so I, I asked Bob, I said, would you be willing to mentor this little 25 year old dude I met in Mexico who's got thousands of people doing some cleanups, right? So the idea of getting these guys together, so. Daniel, tell us a little bit about uh, snorkeling for trash. Yeah, of yeah. course. Well, snorkeling for trash starts just as a passion and as a commitment with the ocean. Uh, as you know, Cancun is Cancun because of the ocean. So when I was younger, like 21, I just decided to start giving back some love to the ocean. <laughs> and yeah, it all started as a young guy's game, and we took our snorkel gear and go to the ocean and remove the trash. And well, after four years, uh, it's been growing a lot. We are here at Key Largo talking about conservation and about the ocean with big scientists. And now we have a huge community in Mexico who support us. And we have made a lot of, uh, of cool programs uh, with kids about conservation. We talk to, kid, with kid, to kids about the ocean, about sharks, about why is it important. And yeah, that's our passion, inspire kids and make them fall in love with the ocean, just as we are. We love the ocean and protect it. Fantastico. That's two world-class plastic organizations yeah. getting together. Yeah, and it will be an honor okay. to work with so, you guys. <laughs> thanks for the support to all of you. So we have a major turtle lover in the house today. Just say, like, come on up and say hello quickly, okay? And explain the national parks of 16 for the turtles as an example, right? Yes. So Isla? I have a picture of the, uh, this is the whole preserve. So go ahead and say hello, you explain. Yes, uh, first of all, thank you very much. And on behalf of Catalina Galindo, she's uh, the president of the board of the Amigos de Isla Contoy, that is friends of Isla Contoy. Isla Contoy is a tiny little island in the north part of Quintana Roo State. And it has two different uh, acts for protection. First of all is a sanctuary that it was declared in the 80s. 
is the sanctuary is for the important of the sea turtles that nest in the in in the beaches, the sandy beaches, the beautiful sandy beaches of of the island. And in 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 the nineties was declared as a national park. So uh, in Mexico we just have sixteen sanctuaries for the turtles, and Isla Contoya is one of them. And we are very grateful for this opportunity. We are uh, completely honored because of this uh, to be nominated as uh, ambassadors and, and heroes of the oceans. And we hope you come to see our island and to enjoy the paradise that we have there. We have to preserve the paradise. They say that the children are our future, but it's not, they are present. They are present now. We have to do something in order to give them the world that they deserve. Thank you very much. So I hope it's okay. So Katie sent me on her phone. Okay. This is Isla de Contoy. Look yeah, at this, that, that is, the uh, proximity to the mantas, the mantas and the animals. I mean, that's kind of cool to see that in an afternoon yes, out, that, right? What you see is the, the actual <laughs> footage. <laughs> you like that, David? <laughs> it was uh, about uh, two weeks ago, and uh, the people that is, uh, coming to, to visit the island. We don't have more than 200 people at the same time, not more than that. They can, they can see that spectacular. Fantastico. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, we're, we're gonna wrap it up, but uh, again, our community, and we didn't even ask, Brian Schmidt, who's such a hero supporting all of the, our community, was kind enough to be one of our sponsors. Thank you, Brian, so much for your generosity. And then the Hewitts, who, uh, who went on the whale shark adventure, I didn't even ask. All of a sudden, a little donation came in. Thank you so much to Keith and Lori and Paige. And then lastly, Rick, thank you so much for the house you and Art provided. They gave us this killer condo on the water in the beautiful Florida Keys. So. Are the Mexican ambassadors comfortable? You guys okay? Okay, thanks to Rick. Thank you for your generosity, Rick, so much. And then lastly, uh, Mayor Halley with uh, Vic Bubno and Terry Ford were kind enough to put us up. I guess we have a couple ocean ambassadors with Nina, where are you? You're gonna stay there? Thanks to their generosity, okay? So it takes, a, you know, it takes not only an army, and we have somebody I just met, and there he is in the background being very quiet. I didn't even know this gentleman. He said, I love what you're doing, I wanna help. So he just made a donation. Thank you so much, Jim and Rachel. All the blue, a big hand to Jim back there. That's, uh, thank you. Literally in a doctor's appointment, and the guy heard what I was doing, says, I wanna help you and those kids. So thank you, sir, how, how cool is that? So anybody, we're wrapping up now. Thank you so much. I know this has been a lot to digest, and that's the whole point, because we got a lot of work to do, right, kiddos? Cool. So we're so grateful on behalf of the Celebration Sea Foundation, our board, and Commissioner Rice and Sue from the board, and we have Mayor Halley here. So at the end of this thing, we are on a mission. Our adventure has just begun, thanks to you all, and I'm so grateful to all of you for your support and the leadership here in Monroe County. We're gonna rock this thing, right? We're making a difference here in the beautiful Florida Keys. Thank you, our Mexican ambassadors. And on everybody, go Ocean Heroes, we're done. One, two, three, go Ocean Heroes! Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in the water.